Companies approach us all the time asking us to promote their products, which would be fine except they're usually video games or fancy watches or crypto watches and other things we just don't understand. <laughs> so it's great when someone offers us something really useful, like a magnetic drill. Thanks very much, Vivor. I have just a project for it too. This one came with nine assorted drill bits from 12 millimeters to 27 which look very fancy and should make drilling even a big hole easy. We'll find out. The thing about magnetic drills is that they are magnetic. <laughs> And they stick themselves to the metal so you don't have to push really, really hard to drill a hole. <laughs> Ooh, stuck. Which brings us to my next railway project. You see, I want to build a bridge from here to there. One that's strong enough to support one of these heavy chip drying wagons. Luckily I have these two steel girders, which aren't very pretty but might do the job. Surely they should be strong enough, because they sure are heavy enough. Some of that weight though is pure rust. The wagon should be able to drive along between them, provided they're the right distance apart and don't move. So they just need some brackets, like this one, to fix the gap. So the brackets, <laughs> like that. But if we weld those together, everything would be so heavy, couldn't possibly move it. So let's bolt it. But, Will, how would, <laughs> how, how, how could we possibly make big holes in these chunky bits of <laughs> metal? <laughs> if only we had one of those mag drills. Oh, Ooh, look! <laughs> There's one! Nice! Yellow and everything. <laughs> Gorgeous. Let's use that, shall we? Sounds good. Okay. Turn on the magnet. Then you have just pick up rust there. It's a bit rusty that isn't it? <laughs> Easy peasy. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Turn it off. Okay. Magnet on. Watch it down. Some of this. Two holes. <laughs> oh, fun. Even the pen works better on clean steel. <laughs> 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 
You're trying to convince me, aren't you? <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> it's very strong rust, though. I suppose I could paint this, couldn't I? Theoretically. <laughs> theoretically. <laughs> That's very theoretical. <laughs> After a while we tried the oil reservoir and discovered something interesting. This machine has been cleverly designed to only let the oil down once you start cutting. When you push on the spring in the centre, then it releases the oil. And the oil gets to where it's supposed to be, so it seems to be the right way to do things. Now look, I know it's hard to believe, but I'm not actually an expert on mag drills. But this one seems to do a great job and I like it. It's by Vivo and it's yellow. What more can I say? Go and look them up. Okay. <laughs> I think it's great. Right then, time to build a bridge. Don't go too far, Will. Yes, I know, it's not very pretty, I know that, but it is functional and more or less horizontal, so it will do, I think. Very good. Now, is it strong? Walk, walk. Field, no sheep. Thank you. Um, show me that this rail in as well. Uh, that rail there in. Yeah. <laughs> Look quite high, and precarious. Very high, yeah. <laughs> Of course the plan is to drive the wood chip wagons onto the bridge and then activate the trap doors underneath so all the chips fall down into a hopper underneath. But I haven't built the hopper yet so I can't test that part yet. But while a wagon is up here, I can get to the undercarriage and inspect it. And oil the wooden bearings. You know I said last time that I had to build a bridge so the wagon couldn't plumb it off the end of the rails. Well of course, in a way, <laughs> I just made things worse because I moved the end of the rails further out. And 
That means higher up. So now the plummeting would be catastrophic. Hmm. So I took one of the brackets off again and drilled two more holes in it with the mag drill, of course. This time 27 millimeters big, which was just as easy and made a sign to remind me what to do when I've gone far enough along on the bridge. That should do the trick. <laughs> and it should mean that the wagons end up right over the hopper, which is the next job to do.